What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another digit match. On the left we have Blue and he's playing Leopardmon slash Imperial Jamon and on the right we have Javier and he's playing Dora Goromon. So yeah, you heard right. Blue's playing Imperial Jamon with a Leopardmon top end. So this was really interesting. I saw a deck list on DigimonCardMeta.com from BT17 that featured a similar list. I'm not sure if Blue's list is exactly like it. But it'll be interesting to see because I do play this in round three. And yeah, I, I, I had no idea what was going on when he played this deck. Because I did not see this. Like I was somewhere else and they were kind enough to be recorded on camera. To agree to be recorded. So he's going to gain two memory. I'm not sure how he gained two memory there because I think I was rewatching it. And um, that's not the gain one memory Stingmon. So he should have only gained one memory. I'm gonna swing at security. He does. He doesn't have piercing. So swing over it. Um, I think he was supposed to draw one more card. And then Leopardmon here will play a Wormmon. Wormmon effect. Effect. And he's gonna scoop it up. Which is wild, cause I mean, yeah, Javier didn't see a rookie, so he's gonna scoop it up. He's gonna go. We're gonna go to game two. And he's gonna play Doromon pass turn. He's gonna use the special um, Digivolution cost or the regular one Digivolve for one to pass turn. So here, let's see, blue, we see his, he's playing Ukomon in the build. But he's going to go into Wormon in the back first. And then play Davis and Ken. As turn, Doromon puts um, the SOC Tamer under. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce it. Reveal top two off the training, get another Tamer. Or actually send the Tamer to the bottom, get the level four. And then play Doruman from BT10 or BT11, trash one, draw one. Tamer comes out, end of turn. Blue is going to keep the Wormon in the back, play out the Wormon from hand. I think his build is playing primarily Wormons. I'm not sure if he's playing Vmon, maybe he is. But. I think it's really interesting because I mean the Wormmon build is interesting because I think I think Togemugamon's a very good defensive card. And I also think the Stingmon from BT16 is a good card. So he's gonna tuck the Kasuke under. Oh man, that was so bad, me trying to pronounce that. Gonna use the training or maybe not. He doesn't have to, he can wait on it. Digivolve into the new Doragora, uh, Dorugamon. Trash one, draw one. Make the Wormmon attack. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. No, he's going to make the Cherubimon attack. Okay. Oh, interesting. He's playing the BT13 Dorogreymon. Digivolve into Dex. Dorugamon. Go into Dora Greymon from the new set. And okay, so start a main phase. A blue can activate the tamer first if he wants. He is going to send a Chaos Mon. Uh, ultimate Chaos Mon to the bottom. He's gonna use the effect going to Dora Goromon. Why didn't he make the Cherubimon attack? Oh, because it has alliance. But I mean, yeah, he didn't have enough. The Cherubimon would have been 13k. And Dora Goromon only would have been at... Oh yeah, no, this this works out. Yeah, because he could pop the door, the um, the ace. Nice. Overflow 4. Alright, so this is game 2. Much better, much better. Very unfortunate Javier break that for game 1. We see he's also playing Oryumon. Swing with the Doromon lives, some beefy Doromon at 2k. Yeah, I mean, I've been interested in the Wormon build. <clears throat> but Vmon's so good, dude. Vmon's so good. I think the draw of Vmon is so good. The draw one Vmon. 
go into decks here. Yeah, using the Oryumon. Interesting. Is he playing Oryukin in this deck? I mean, honestly, I think the only thing that Dora Goromon's missing right now is like the DP buffs. Or at least some form of battle protection. He's gonna promote the Wormon effect of Davis Ken. Oh, no effect. Go into Toge Mugomon. What does he have in his hand? Play out the Stingmon. That should have only been for... Yeah, it's only for three, right? He did have a blue Digimon in play. Strip the sources out. Two, four. So yeah, all of them cannot unsuspend. Wait, can that one accept two, four? It's equal to or less, right? So that one shouldn't be able to unsuspend. He's gonna pop the training. I'm not sure if I mentioned if this was BT16. Obviously, this is not BT16 because he's using Cherubi Mon Ace. This is EX6. So he's gonna swing at security. Oh, see, okay, he does not unsuspend. Okay, great. Blue coming in though with the uh the Altart Pyodra. Very nice. Plus the Davis Ken Altart. No, I feel bad for Javier, man, because like obviously Dora Goromon's like missing half of its support. I don't like what how many of the new cards does it actually play from the new set? Like I said, I love Dora Goromon when it first came out in BT7. I'm not too confident in the new support in BT17. I, I might be proven wrong. But I think he's going to go here into Dora Goromon again. Pop. They're going to play out the Digimon. Digivolve again into Toge Mu I mean into Pyildramon. Pyildramon strip or Davis can strip. That will make sure nothing unsuspends. Yeah, he's really missing that steam on that um pierces. Do some damage. He's getting pretty low on health. He has to pierce through these bodies. He's running out of rookies as well. So he's gonna swing it and swing it over the Doruman on suspend. Swing over the other Doruman. He does have the Wormon. He could did you evolve Wormon in the back? I'm curious what he's thinking about. I mean, none of the Digimon can unsuspend because of the Pyogemon effect. Next turn. <clears throat> so he's going to go into Leopardmon X, Leopardmon X effect. Play out Cherubimon. And then Cherubimon effect to play Togi Mugumon out. And then so he gets to bounce three, five, eight, eleven. 
Did it... Right? 35811? How do you bounce to 12k? Am I crazy? I think it's an interesting build though. Cherubimon playing out bodies plus giving out alliance. He's gonna pop the boost or the training here, going to Darugamon, draw trash one, draw one, force the Toge Mugumon to attack. Did you evolve into decks? Trash one, gain a memory. Did you evolve into Doru Greymon? Start a main phase, reveal top three. He's also playing Amiman. Wild. No, he, I'm pretty sure he said the Toge Mugomon attacks, right? Well, one of them is going to attack this turn. Oh, when he plays a Digimon out by card effect, he gets to bounce because of the Leopardmon X antibody. Yo, that is wild. And Toge Mugomon strips when it becomes suspended. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yo, yo, how's he DNA? No, dude, is that a Stingmon on top of a Stingmon? <laughs> no, <laughs> this is wild. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, dude. That was that was funny. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm cracking up. No, I've never seen that done before in my life. I was, what is, what's going on here? He's gonna swing. I, I think, uh, yeah, the the tides have shifted here. I think I'm not. That's why he wanted to keep the worm on in his hand though, because he wanted to play it off. The Davis Ken. He has Dora Gorman in his hand, but he doesn't have the tamer, so it wouldn't pop anything. The weird part about the Leopard Mon X anti body is obviously it's it's kind of annoying because it bounces every single turn. He's gonna play the Marvin Jackson a past turn. Start of main phase, yeah. Play Wormon, bounce back. And I think, yeah, yeah, I think he has a locked here. I'm not sure why he's not swinging over Dora Goramon. Yeah, I would just swing over Dora Gora. Probably choke him to one if he can. Leopard X does not have uh, protection here or any DP buffs. Probably wouldn't swing with it. Ukomon in the back. And then play Uko in the front. Go to two off the Marvin Jackson. And he's gonna scoop it up. So blue takes it there. I think I'm pretty sure that was a 2 0. And I believe they said that after this match, you know, they still had some time, so they decided to play a couple more. So a couple more, even though the match does go to Imperial slash Leopardmon. All right, so there you go, guys. Unfortunately, I do have to cut it off here. I think they played a few more practice games, but there was a couple of misplays, so I decided not to upload those because I think they only played like two, like two turns each, and then they scooped it up, and then again they played two turns each and scooped it up. But yeah, that's that's Blues Leopard slash Imperial deck. I, it does come up next round because I do face off against it. So if you like it, you want to see more of it, uh, stay tuned for it. If you're interested in the Discord, I mean, if you're interested in the deck list that I saw on digimoncard.meta. I'll put it up on the Discord so you guys can get a sense of what Blue is playing as his top end. But anyways, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. My name is Mr. J. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.